Why hello YouTube, King David here of course, and today I'm showing you guys how to play Minecraft at your school, in a public library, or a place where you just don't have your Minecraft files um, on that computer, it doesn't have Java installed, you're just not ready, you know, it's not your own. Um, so all you're going to need is a flash drive, obviously, and I'm going to show you guys two processes. One process where you, you will go download Java and install it to that computer, but not everyone's school allows them to execute a file, execute a file like that and install it. And a second option of where the Java will be actually installed to the flash drive. So let's plug in our flash drive in your USB port, of course. So there we go. We just heard mine. Let's open it up. I'm going to have to format this one right quick. Let's see. Format. Start. Okay. All right. You're just going to want a clean flash drive. You don't need one, but... I would suggest it. So now you have your flash drive formatted or has enough space on it. You're going to want to go to this thread on the Minecraft forum. Of course I will link you to it. Do not worry. Um, I just found this and basically you're just going to want to go download Minecraft Portable 2.6. Save. Now let's open up another window over here go downloads and you're just going to want to double click it um, if you have WinRAR it will do that or if you have WinZip if you don't have any of that you're just going to want to right click and press extract and you'll see this WinCraftP.exe you're going to want to drag that over to your flash drive now you're going to want to double click it on your flash drive and as you can see it just launched Minecraft Horse you log in and you play blah 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 and what it will do, it will actually store the Minecraft files right on your computer. I mean, not your computer, your flash drive. Okay, so this is great if the computer you're playing on either A, already has Java installed, or B, uh, you can easily install Java. And to install Java, if you didn't know, I hope you know, uh, just go on java.com, free download, um, install it. But not everyone's able to do that. So what I'm going to show you now is how to install um, portable Java. So you're going to want to click this link right here, download Java binaries, save file. Um, it's going to take me a second. You got to love that fast connection. <laughs> but uh, basically, um, I, I use this just about every day. Um, the computers I use at my school, um, I just personally install Java every day on them. Because if you don't have a fast enough flash drive, which not everyone knows if they even have a fast flash drive like if it's an ancient flash drive you know you wipe the dust off it plug it into your computer most probably nine out of ten times it's gonna run like crap if you install Java to it if you just have the files running off to it off of it it shouldn't be too bad um, it's just not all flash drives have a very good um, read and write speed but because uh, it's flash memory they have great read speeds I don't know that was a mistake but they have quite slow um, write speed sometimes Another thing you guys can do is you can um, take these files, um, run it on your flash drive like I did, um, and just drag it to the desktop uh, at school, and then it will just keep everything in this data file, and then you can drag it back at the end of the day or w end of class. Um, but if you have portable Java, it won't work like that. You're going to have to keep it all on the flash drive. So let's see if this download's done yet. If you guys were wondering... Uh, or I told you I was rendering a video. But this is a new video I'm coming out with which will probably be uploaded before you see this. It's just a new video on 1.96. They added some cool, 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 cool stuff. Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, this download seems to be just about done. Like before, we're going to want to double click it or right click and extract if you don't have that. And what you do is you drag it into here. Let that drag. Now it's going to move all the items. Whole 100 megabytes. I, re I recommend at least a gig flash, uh, one gig flash drive. Um, as you can see, this is writing at 5 megabytes a second. Which is decent speeds for a flash drive. Um, probably not optimal. But, you know, what, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Okay. Uh, we're just about done. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. So now you have your Java on your flash drive. Um, and voila. If I'm not mistaken, that's all you had to do. Um, okay, extract the files. Set them to the data folder. In. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what you actually want to do is put this Java in the MCP data folder. And then, what do you know, it should work just fine. It's going to work on my computer. I got Java installed. But anyway, if you have any questions, please ask in a comment below. Um, if I don't answer your comment, send me a private message and I will indefinitely answer it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you have some fun playing Minecraft at your school. And I hope it doesn't lag like hell because most school computers are pretty crappy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, this has been King David. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.